Well, welcome to this Value Med presentation. I'm Dr. Mike Garcia, Clinical Director of Access Diagnostics, and we're going to run you through some helpful tips to try and get a good sample from a finger lance device. And uh, it's absolutely critical that you get the lancing of your blood finger samples correct. Without a good lance technique, you are very unlikely to get accurate or reliable test results, whether you're using a disposable test device or a digital meter. Now, there's two common types that we provide for doing finger pick lancing. Disposable single safety lancets such as these come in a lot of the test kits that we sell. We're going to show you how to use those in the first instance, but far more common if you're using a meter device with test strips that have to be uh, repeat tested on a very often basis is to use one of these automatic lancing devices and this is one made by Easy Life. They're all very similar in their guise and they take these universal disposable lancets. Come in boxes like this in 50s and 100s and what these are are these plastic coated sterile tip lance devices and the actual lance is under this round cap. So first stage we're going to show you how to correctly position and use one of these disposable lances and in the second stage we'll come back and show you how to use one of these automatic sprung lancing devices so let's get going now safety lancets come in a variety of different designs these are typical they'll have a cover on which is removed and then all that you have to do to trigger these is to place them where you want to lance the finger and push down on the tip. Before you do that, it's important that you've washed your hands thoroughly and allowed them to completely dry. You also need to be in a nice warm environment so that you've got good capillary flushing and perfusion of your finger that you're about to stab. Then to perform a test, you'll know I'm not putting it on the flat of the finger like this because this area is quite fibrous. There's also a lot of sensation in that end. It's far better to actually run your lance on the side of the finger. So to perform the lance, put it firmly against the side of the finger and push. And you'll see that the lance has automatically formed a first droplet of blood. Remove that and allow the second droplet to form completely naturally. This should occur quite easily without you having to squeeze or massage the fingertip. And you'll note by the finger being completely dry, the droplet forms really well. This can now be applied to your test strip or test device. And it's important that you use this second naturally formed droplet of blood to get an accurate test result. That's particularly critical if you're doing a haemoglobin test or a cholesterol test. So that's a nice simple guide how to use these disposable lancets. Now in this section we're going to show you how to correctly use one of these auto lancing devices. They're spring loaded little devices. Pull back on the spring and release the trigger to fire the lance. When you're ready to do the test remove the cap and fit one of the lance into the barrel. Unscrew the cap to reveal the lance. Now replace the cap and what you should be able to see is the lance sticking out ideally about one to two mils. If it's not sticking out enough, remove the cap and slightly ease it up in the chamber. You've pushed it in too far, but it is critical that that lance is showing at the end. As you see, that's better positioned. We've got at least, I think, two mils there setting on six. So when you're happy with that, set the lance spring, apply it again firmly against the side of the finger and trigger the lance. First drop forms nicely, remove it. Allow the second droplet to form naturally. This may take a little time. Don't panic if you've got the correct depth then you should form this second droplet completely naturally. Do not squeeze the finger or finger pulp. If you've not lanced yourself deeply enough, then be prepared to re-lance rather than trying to use an inadequate sample or a sample that you've had to form squeezing your finger to run your test device. By doing this method and using a naturally formed second droplet of blood, you should get good quality test results on both cholesterol, uric acid, haemoglobin and glucose tests. Thanks for watching.